A battery is a device for storing electricity. We can make a basic battery using a lemon, a copper washer, and a zinc plated nail. It's not going to provide huge amounts of electricity, but it really is a battery. So let's give that a try. We'll take a blade, we'll make an incision into our lemon, insert the copper washer, insert a nail, and we can read a small voltage. If I'm doing my sums correctly, um, that is just under a thousand millivolts, which is really nothing. But the point is, it actually is a battery and it is creating voltage. Wow, so batteries are basically magic. No, that's not even close. I don't mean to be negative, but that's not how they work at all. Well, that's a polarizing claim. So how do they work then? Batteries use a chemical reaction to create a potential difference, which we measure as a voltage. When a device, and that could be anything from a radio to a starter motor, places a load on the battery, current flows and I think magic was a simpler explanation. But incorrect. Let's get sciencey and take a look at what goes on inside a lead acid battery, which is by far the most common battery type used in cars. The cells are made up of plates suspended in a solution. When the battery is discharged or flat, both plate types are lead sulfate and the solution is a very dilute sulfuric acid. Charging the battery uses an electrolytic reaction to convert the negative plates to lead and the positive plates to lead dioxide and the solution to sulfuric acid. When the battery is being used, positive hydrogen ions are created at the negative plates and move into the solution and they are consumed at the positive plates. Negatively charged hydrogen sulfate ions are consumed at both plates. These processes convert both plates back to lead sulfate and weakens the concentration of the sulfuric acid solution. Okay, so the battery gets used and then when all its electricity is used up, you need to install a new battery, right? There are two types of batteries. Primary batteries are not rechargeable and secondary batteries are rechargeable. Car batteries are secondary batteries, so they can be recharged. When everything is working as it should, the alternator charges the battery by, by running the magic in reverse. Sure, let's go with that. So it really is magic. No, the alternator is driven by the engine and that is what provides electric current to run the car's systems and recharge the battery. And that goes on forever. Not quite. The chemical reactions that take place in a lead acid battery lead to a buildup of lead sulfate crystals which do not dissolve. A battery that has undergone sulfation, as this is called, takes longer to charge and also does not deliver current as well as a newer battery. So how long does a battery last? As with many questions, the answer is, it depends. A battery that is regularly discharged and then not properly recharged will not last as long as a battery that is completely recharged as part of its usage pattern. And when is it time to replace the battery? There are two ways to know. One is when your car fails to start on a Tuesday morning in winter when it's raining and you urgently need to be somewhere. The easier way is to load test a battery, which will let you know when a battery is past its best and due for replacement before it becomes a problem. And then replacement is just a matter of dropping in a replacement battery, is it? Mostly. Since the 1990s, it's also been necessary to deal with the security code for the car stereo, either by maintaining a 12 volt supply to the stereo while the old battery is removed, or by keying a security code after the new battery has been installed. And things are getting increasingly complicated in this regard. With the current generation, current, funny, With the latest Porsches, it's no longer a matter of dropping a new battery into the car, connecting it up, and off you go. It's now necessary to update the car's onboard systems to tell the car that a new battery has been installed and the capacity of the new battery. And as hybrid and full electric powered vehicles become more commonplace, battery replacement can be expected to become increasingly complex. And on top of that, as hybrid and pure electric vehicles become more common, 
workshops will need to manage the complexities of dealing with motive power batteries. These bring their own challenges, between their very high voltages and also the need for new recycling technologies. In the US, 99% of the lead used in lead acid batteries is recycled. Hopefully, the same will be true of the raw materials used in hybrid and electric vehicle batteries. In many ways, EV batteries take us into a brave new world. Manufacturers warranty the batteries at around 8 years of useful life, but at this stage we don't know how healthy batteries will be at that stage or what infrastructure will evolve to recycle them.